the fuel indicator it reminds me of um, a margin call function because if you are low on the fuel in the car you need to refuel or otherwise you will get stuck at the middle of your journey if you are going too fast in your car you need to slow down you need to push on the brakes you need to have your risk management with your driving and i think in this matter the brakes is the same as stop loss ah uh, yeah Hi everyone, welcome to the show, Control Your Drive. In the last episode, we had psychologist specialist Rebecca, and I really learned a lot from it. I hope you guys learned a lot from it too. Really interested to know from a psychology specialist about the emotions in trading. Emotions are a big part of trading. Our emotions affect our decision making. Imagine if you're in, in the sea and it's a storm and you're fighting for your life, but instead of doing anything, you've got to actually just sit down and do nothing. Ah. That's actually a very good analogy. <laughs> yeah. To get back control, I need to beat myself. I beat myself? I need to beat my emotional self. I need to overcome my emotional self. The, the analogy that I like to use with clients is, imagine you are riding a horse. Do you think the rider is in control or the horse is in control? Mm, sounds like a trick question, horse. <laughs> that is a great answer. And this coming episode, we're going to talk about the trading tools that are provided to trade successfully. Uh, we're going to discuss in detail what is it about and how important it is. But before that, we're going to invite our specialist in this field to educate us. And now I'm on my way to pick him up. I'm with Mr. Edward now. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Edward. A trading expert for more than five years and half of that journey I'm side by side with FBS. You know Andrew, congratulations with the new car. How do you like it? I love it. I love it. I'm so grateful to FBS. Yeah, yeah, I'm grateful to FBS also. How long do you trade, Andrew? I think I started about six years ago. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a long journey you have. Yes, yeah. I'm still learning. Yeah, I understand we are all in the learning process all the time. That's like the number one for a trader to keep learning. How many trades do you usually open per day or per week? Do you consider yourself like a day trader or a swing trader or maybe a scalper? I'm um, doing this part-time. Mm -hmm. So I think I only do one to two trades a day mm -hmm. and more of a mid-swing trader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. I think I'm a swing trader myself because I'm also trading part-time and also try to not to make too many trades. Otherwise, I get too emotional on the if way. Now you have no time to educate us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, need, yeah. I need time to educate. Yeah. <laughs> Great. You know, when, when we were driving in, in this high performance car, I think about cars help people in achieving certain things. It's like they are superior in helping us. Nevertheless, the tool that we need to understand in order to use right. And that's where I think about trading and how the trading application is also a tool that you need to understand and you need to use properly if you want to achieve some great results. And that's why I think there are a lot of similarities in driving a car and using a trading app. Speaking about cars and trading applications, you need a several important tools that uh, can be used both in the car and trading app. So with the FPS app? Yeah, like the FBS trading application. It's also the high performance app that helps you in achieving certain things and trading better. And there are a lot of similar things in car and in the trading app. Okay, so uh, what about the fuel indicator? How can you relate this to the FBS app? Oh, well, the fuel indicator, it reminds me of um, a margin call function because if you are low on the fuel in the car, you need to refuel or otherwise you will get stuck at the middle of your journey and that's definitely not a thing you want to happen. The very same thing happens with the FBS trading application. When you are low on funds, FBS tells you to add more funds or to close some positions in order to maintain your risk management. That's the percentage uh, shown in the app? Of course, you can see the percentage in the app and it's usually 40%, oh, 40%. Uh, of your free margin. Yeah. I see, I see. How about the brake system? How does it relate to the FBS app? Well, if you're going too fast in your car, 
you need to slow down, you need to push on the brakes, you need to have your risk management with your driving. And I think in this matter, the brakes is the same as stop loss. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, stop loss. Yeah, yeah, you put your stop loss on the chart in the FBS trading app, and now you know that your trade will be closed at this price, you will not lose more money than you can afford to lose. That's very important. How is the efficiency of the stop loss? They well, really follow it? Yeah, yeah. In FBS trading app and in FBS at all has no slippage. So when you put your stop loss, you can be sure your trade will be closed according to your stop loss. That's great. Then how about the car navigation system? How does it relate to that? Oh, well, um, the navigation system, you know, it tells you where did you start, where are you going, what is the way you have chosen. And in this matter, I think it is similar to the charts with the technical indicators on it, because charts tells you more about the market situation, helps you making decisions. And also a trader's calculator. It's, it's also very important for, for your navigation. Do you use the calculator for? Oh, I'll use it. I use it every day because I need to calculate my profit when I, I see. my trade hit take profit, and I need to control my risks. So the stop loss is also a part of the trader calculator. I yeah, see. very important. What about the car parking assistant? How does it relate to that? Oh, I would say that when you want to park your car, you don't want to bother yourself with some extra thoughts, some extra difficulties. And that's why I can relate the parking assistant with the take profit function. Makes because sense. yeah, when you put your take profit on the chart, you don't want to think about it anymore. You can close the chart and let the market do its part. And that's very important for your trading because you don't get too emotional uh, as well as in the parking process. Yeah. Is the take profit as uh, efficient as the stop loss in the app? Yeah, yeah, I would say yes, because when you put your take profit, you know your trade will be closed at this very price and you can be sure that your profit will be equal to what you have calculated. That's good, that's good. Do you use stop loss or take profit functions in your trading app? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I always try to maintain a one to three ratio of take profit and stop loss. So every trade that I go in, I will risk 50 pips and I will take 150 pips for every trade that I go. Yeah, that's a decent risk to reward ratio. I, I try to maintain the same, you know. You know, I, I feel the power under the hood of this car when you put on the gas pedal. It's really powerful, it's really convenient and it's very responsive. Just like the application I've talked about, the FBS trading app, because it's also very fast the very same second you tap on the button, it gets your desired action done. And I think this is so essential in trading and so essential in driving a car to feel what you're doing and to see the consequences of your actions. Wow, that's so insightful. Thank you so much for spending your time uh, educating us. I uh, really hope you had a good time as well. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I loved it here. I loved the car and its performance and uh, its responsiveness. It was amazing. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everyone. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, Andrew. I hope to see you sometime in the future. Bye. We will. Bye bye. How many users you have, uh, subscribers in your Telegram channel? About 50,000 or so. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In trading, you know, it's usually these unexpected scenarios that make have the most major impact. Yeah. Right? You need to be adaptive. I'll say the the robots are, are good at risk management because they have no emotions. And, but you know, the humans are the one they are better at, at dealing with like new situations, creative. So, would you say risk management is uh, very important in trading? Oh, I mean definitely, right? Because you know, if for a trader, I'll say it's, it's you know other than psychology, right? Risk management is probably the next. Uh, you know, most important thing.